The highest points of the seven years for me have been the impact of what we've been able to, to do. The impact on the lives of people. Uh, when I go into the communities that were formerly slums with very bad drainages, with um, dusty roads um, and all the effects of dust to their health, to their businesses, to their properties. And, and I see the joy and appreciation of the people for the good infrastructure, the security that comes with the good infrastructure, the value, uh, increased value to the properties, the increased value to the landowners and property owners, the new developments coming up everywhere we've built a road, and that is always a uh, very encouraging. When I go to the health centers and see the, the patients, the numbers that have grown, but also the improvement of services, KCCA health centers are probably the best um, government health centers in the country. When I see a mother delivering in a clean, sterile environment, in a nice theater, sleeping in a nice clean bed with a mosquito net, uh, the babies looked after very, very well. The dental services, to people who would not otherwise uh, afford dental services. When I see the children uh, in the schools that we manage, the joy on the faces of these children every time we are um, handing over a new building, an improved building, we've removed asbestos, we have put toilets, we have provided water, um, desks, uh, children are touching computers for the first time because I believe with all my heart that the investment we make in our children today determines the future of this nation. So when I see the improved um, school environments uh, of, of the schools that we, we manage, um, the happier teachers because of the initiatives we put in place, the improved revenue and what we've been able to do with that revenue, um, the improved accountability, the improved um, financial management evidenced by all these unqualified audit opinions where the Auditor General finds nothing alarming for the last five years in, in KCCA. Uh, coming from where we came, uh, we were handed an institution that basically had nothing in form of systems, in form of reputation, in form of good service delivery, in form of doing the things that the city administration needed to do for the people of the city. We were handed a broken down, dysfunctional, um, ill -reputa reputation uh, organization that people didn't want to deal with. People didn't want to come into the city hall because of the state that it was in. Um, the city staff many uh, times would hide their identification because they did not want to be identified with the city administration because of the things that were going on then. Looking back over seven years and looking in the different aspects of the city service delivery, the way the city looks, um, the, the improved compliance levels, the uh, improved partnerships with the population. Uh, the fact that Ugandans are contributing to KCCA government projects for the improvement of the lives of other Ugandans and giving us support, uh, all those things are highlights. Uh, we, we're giving back a better city than the one I was handed. I'm giving back a better organization, a world-class organization an organization with a professional reputation, an award-winning entity, um, an institution where staff are proud to work, where partners are happy to partner and support the projects and the work that we're doing, where people are yearning to be associated uh, with this institution which has become a benchmark not just in Uganda but also uh, internationally uh, in urban administrations in developing countries. So I'm, I'm handing back an institution that is far better, far better, way better uh, from the one that I was given to manage. 
and I'm handing back a city that uh, Ugandans have begun to be proud of and have hope in the institution, but also have hope in the fact that um, Ugandans can transform and improve Uganda. Uh, it did not take expatriates <laughs> to transform Kampala. It's us Ugandans born and bred and educated, uh, most of us that have worked to take the city from where it was to what it is now. We stand on global platforms all the time and proudly speak about our city and what we've been able to do in the city. So those kinds of things make the seven years an incredibly amazing, uh, fulfilling uh, experience, uh, something that I will treasure for a very long time and, and, and thank God uh, for giving me the opportunity to be part of the transformation uh, of the capital city of this country. So it's, it's very, very satisfying. And I appreciate everybody that has enabled this to happen because it cannot be done by one person. The teams, the amazing KCCA team, my super team, uh, the different government departments that have supported us, the individuals, the government, uh, the development partners and friends and private sector that have supported us to make Kampala better. I really appreciate them. And I appreciate um, government for giving me the opportunity to, to make a difference. The opportunity to share and, and show what I'm able to do. I, I feel confident that there are other Ugandans that can also do a great job, a greater job than I've been able to do in different aspects, different areas, different facets of, of Uganda. And Uganda can be transformed, Africa can be transformed. It just takes us realigning our thoughts, realigning our vision, realigning our energy, realigning our interests and making the necessary sacrifices and changes that we can